It's good to be back in the People's House, where House Republicans are ready to continue delivering on our promises to the American people. One important aspect of our common sense agenda is actually protecting Americans' financial privacy, particularly when it pertains to this lawless administrative state. That's why I reintroduced a bill yesterday called the Central Bank Digital Currency Anti-Surveillance State Act, which puts a check on unelected bureaucrats and ensures that the United States digital currency policy upholds our values of privacy, individual sovereignty, and free market competitiveness. Recent actions from the Biden administration have made it clear that they are not only itching to create a digital dollar, but they're willing to trade Americans' right to financial privacy for a surveillance-style CBDC. This bill ensures the future of crypto is in the hands of the American people, not the administrative state. By prohibiting the Federal Reserve from creating a tool with unfettered insight into Americans' financial data. If not open, permissionless, and private, like cash, a CBDC is nothing more than a CCP-style surveillance tool that can be weaponized to oppress the American way of life. We're not going to let that happen not on House Republicans' watch. And I want to thank the Financial Services Committee for considering our bill this month, and we're going to continue working to ensure that the digital economy is designed by Americans and emulates American value. We got some breaking news in the pernicious realm of CBDCs or central bank digital currencies. We're going to take a look at the huge development and what it means for our economic freedom moving forward. You're going to absolutely love this one, eh, gang? It's me, Dr. Steve, your patron professor, here to help you think better so you can feel better in these crazy and increasingly authoritarian time so if you haven't already done so you know what to do make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button also speaking of authoritarian please share this video with friends and family we are once again being suppressed by big tech so i need your help to get the hopeful message of this channel out to as many people as possible and i thank you so much for that it's just been announced that the house financial services committee has indeed just passed a bill that officially bans the Federal Reserve from creating a central bank digital currency, or CBDC. As many of you know, with the autocratic Biden administration, things have been developing at an alarmingly rapid pace with regard to the development of CBDCs. It started with a sweeping executive order from the Biden administration, and now central banks are reportedly even hiring for their development. Well, if this congressional bill has anything to say about it, those days are officially over. The bill is dubbed the Central Bank Digital Currency Anti-Surveillance State Act. It won support from Republicans. It drew opposition, of course, from Democrats on the committee. And legislation would block the Fed from issuing a CBDC directly to individuals, ensuring the Fed cannot mobilize itself into a retail bank able to collect personal financial data on Americans. It also blocks the Fed from indirectly issuing a CBDC to individuals through an intermediary. Additionally, the bill prevents the central bank from using any CBDC to implement monetary policy. The legislation will now go to the floor for a full vote before the House. Obviously, this is a huge step forward in pushing back against the ominous encroachment of the growing police state that we see developing in the West today. I just did a video on the utterly Orwellian efforts by the UK Parliament to cancel Russell Brand based solely on allegations. And I show you exactly how and why in this increasingly tyrannical system, the presumption of innocence is dead. CBDC, Central Digi Bank Digital Currencies, are part and parcel of this Orwellian vision. And I'm going to show you exactly how CBDCs fit into that horrific vision. But first, you know what you need to do in all this. You certainly don't want to depend on the dysfunctional system of Washington to protect your money. And that's why it is so absolutely critical for you to be proactive and protect your money with precious metals like gold and silver. I've partnered with the top-rated precious metals company, Gold Co., that have helped patriots move over a billion dollars into the timeless value of gold and silver. And now it's your turn. Right now, they're giving you up to $10,000 in free silver while supply lasts. So don't wait. Click on that link below right now. Do what countless patriots are doing to make sure Bumbling Biden never, ever has total control over all your money. Go to the link below to learn how you can get started today. The key to understanding the nature of CBDCs 
is by understanding their relation to another set of letters, and that's ESG. That stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance Criteria. And it refers to scores that corporations get in relation to those three areas so that investors can show they're investing in companies that advance left-wing social justice goals. And that includes, of course, green energy, racial equity, even abortion access. It's basically the attempt to pressure companies to become more and more environmentalist and woke. And many have noticed that the ESG scores are eerily similar to China's social credit system, which is, of course, a technocratic project that seeks to control human behavior so as to maximize safety and sustainability. It's now widely recognized that the demons in Davos at the WEF are actively designing and seeking to implement the architecture of just such an internationalized social credit system. And what we have to understand is that technocrats, by their nature, control. That's that's what technocrats do. That's part of their job description. Technocrats who oversee a globalist system globalism simply being a vast interlocking mechanism of technology and telecommunications that in effect creates a single worldwide political and economic system. Globalism is ruled by technocrats, by what's called expert systems. And technocrats, like technology itself, are all about control and management. That's by definition what it means to be a technocrat. And the social credit system is a technocratic project that seeks to control human behavior so as to maximize safety and sustainability, particularly ecological sustainability. And this is precisely where CBDCs come in. The WEF is indeed currently collaborating on plans to institute digital currencies so as to be able to not just track but ultimately control the purchasing pattern of consumers. And again, the key here is that with the WEF's apocalyptic environmentalism, where they actively believe that your consumption patterns have the capacity to destroy the planet and life as we know it, with that apocalyptic environmentalism is absolutely foundational to their worldview, the WEF believes that they are completely justified in deliberately controlling what's called your life chances, right? We just talked about this in our video on Russell Brand. Life chances involves your access to employment, to education opportunities, to finances, to banking, and the like. And the key here is that central bank digital currencies are absolutely crucial to controlling your life chances. And controlling life chances is crucial to controlling your impact on the environment. So that's where CBDCs fit into this overall Orwellian scheme that the WEF and the tyrannical technocrats have for our world. And the good news is that the people are onto it. The blowback against this is absolutely enormous and it's growing by the day. So we'll make sure to keep a close eye on this bill and hope to see a full ban on central bank digital currencies in the very near future. Hey gang, I know what it's like to feel alone out there in these turbulent times, but I broke free. If you too have been looking for a community with like-minded patriots who are serious about resisting globalism, building a parallel economy, and having intelligent and deep fellowship on a regular basis, then you've come to the right place. In my Courageous Patriot Insiders community, we're building a close-knit movement of, by, and for patriots who are breaking free from the outrage and despair cycles of the mainstream media and taking on the fight against globalism. Every week, I deep dive into the content I can't share on big tech and give you the cliff notes on the truth of how patriots just like you are building up their communities, starting patriot businesses, and fighting the woke in both public and private all with a few history and political lessons from yours truly, of course. If you want to stop feeling alone as a patriot and stand together with this fast-growing community, be sure to click on the link in the description below. Don't wait. Join me and my patriot coalition today, and let's get fighting.